but I really wanted to get started on this so you can get started on your MWSM. Um, so yeah, in case you haven't caught on yet, I'm doing a knitting tutorial just for you. Okay, I haven't knit in like three weeks, but I finished a sleeve. This is the sleeve. It's really long. One reason why I'm doing this over because it's like mega mega ultra long. It does not need to be this long, but you basically just like knit it like this and then you sew the two ends together, so like this. Okay, you see the problem? This, you can see through. And that's not a nice, warm, thick sweater. And it's like humongous. I know. I'm undoing it. I think the problem is I have too large, like, they're just too thick in diameter. Um, because I'm not using wool, which is what you're supposed to use for this pattern that I'm using. But I, you can't wash wool in a washing machine and I might need So, needless to say, I went and got Da -da -da -da. These, these are my beautiful gold, gold knitting needles. Let's do one of those uh, fast motion, uh, watch Megan undo her sweater sort of things. So yeah, first I, this is the, this is the size of the ball right now. Tiny, tiny. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Sweater. 
First of all, you're going to do what's called cast on, which is like getting your stitches. The consensus is you need a tail that's a half inch long for every stitch you do. I don't really measure it out. I'm doing 30 stitches, so I'm just, this is going to be enough. This is your ball side, okay? So you're basically going to twist the rope so the tail side goes over the ball rope. So it's going over the ball rope. And then you're going to stick your fingers through this loop, come through, and pull the ball side through and form this, okay? And you're going to stick it on your knitting needle, and then you can tighten it up, okay? And then we're going to start making stitches. And we need 13. Okay. So, oh, this could be an issue since I'm left-handed. I don't really know if I can do it right-handed. Yes, I can. Whatever. Okay. Right hand. You're going to stick your fingers, your thumb, and your pointer. Is that what it's called? Through these two. This is my pointer is uh, touching the tail side. Okay. Um, and then you're going to kind of secure with the rest of your fingers, grab these and just kind of like hold them so you have like a little bit of tension on the arm. Okay. And then this is what I have to remember what to do. Okay. Okay, so you have your first stitch, and then you are going to take your two fingers, your pointer, and your thumb, and stick them in between the two. And your pointer is touching the tail side of the arm. And then these fingers are going to come around and just grab these and just kind of hold on, make them a little taunt, so there's a little bit of tension in the rope. Got it? Um, okay. And then, so bring your thumbs up like this. You should be kind of looking at it like this. You might want to hold on to this, because uh, the stitches are already on the needle with your thumbs, so they don't slide off. Okay, so we're going to go underneath the outside yarn, uh, the ball, part of the yarn that's on the outside of your thumb. Go underneath that, and then go to this side that's the, on the inside of your pointer, and go underneath that. Do you see that? And then you're going to go back underneath this thumb yarn. Like so. Okay? And then let go with your thumb. And when you go back to grab the new yarn under your thumb, you're going to be tightening the stitch. Do you see that? And now you have two. Yay! Only 28 more to go. I feel like I should maybe try to show you again. You still, uh, I haven't been counting, but I still have my tail, which is getting short, er, and then I still have my ball connected. And just make sure your pointer is next to the tail, and you always go on the outside thumb one, inside pointer, back under outside thumb, let go of thumb. Got it? Outside, inside, outside, drop. Outside, inside, outside, drop. Okay, so I finished casting on these. These are 30 stitches. I had just enough tail left. So now here's where you have to decide. Um, I'm doing a pattern that requires two knit stitches, two curl stitches, um, which is basically the opposite of knitting. It's kind of a... Um, I would say it's more time consuming. I will show you how to knit first, and then you can decide if you want to alternate like I am about that. Go underneath, go through the loop, and go behind the knitting needle, okay? Like so. Grab your 
ball, yarn, and go around, and then down behind this needle, okay? And then take this needle and go up and over so you're down behind your second needle, and then pull the stitch off, like that. And then this is where I'm going to start purling because you do two knit, two purl, um, all the way through, and then you do two purl, two knit on the row back, and then you go back to two knit, two purl, and back and forth, back and forth. Okay, if you want me to run through it one more time, I will, even if you don't ask me to. Okay, make sure you have the yarn that's attached to your ball behind the knitting needle. And you're going to come, I forget to be on the frame. Okay, go under, through the yarn loop, behind the knitting needle. Take your yarn, wrap it around the back side. I realize that's hard to see, but I just went around the back. Came down to the front, and now I'm going down. Okay? And then, while keeping this loop that I just went around the knitting needle on, I'm going to bring the knitting needle up, over, and around the back, and down, and then pull this stitch off. Like, just like that. One more time. Through the loop. Up and around. Down. Then up, over, and back behind, and then pull it off. Yay! I think you are ready. This is when I would curl. If you don't want to do it, then just don't pay attention to the video, because it will definitely slow you down. Um, okay, so now you need to switch this is the yarn attached to the ball. Bring it in front of your needle, like so. Okay, before with knitting, you would bring your needle, your needle through like this. With purling, you go in through the front, okay? Like so. And you stay in front like this, and then you bring your yarn around like this. And down still. And then, you're going to bring this needle up and over to the front while still keeping your other stitch on like this and then you're gonna pull off okay so one more time Oops. through you know I need some room the loop oh this is hard to do oh I'm holding out this angle through the loop through the front and up in front around the back of the front needle and down then over the top and in front. And then pull the stitch off. And you just did two purling. Just alternating between two knit and two purl. And alternating which ones I start with each row. And uh, just make sure you switch when you're doing purling. The yarn is going to be in front of your needle. And then when you do knitting, it's in the back. Only knit one inch like this and then we're going to do something different so so far i have uh one i did one row and i have about a fourth of an inch maybe maybe a third of an inch um so i'm just gonna knit for an inch and then after that i make another video telling you what to do next yay I haven't done these tutorials before and I don't feel like I'm an expert at knitting, um, but I'm pretty sure I taught you the right way. And I think I kind of taught you the left-handed way, I'm not really sure. I taught you how to cast on right-handed, but if you have problems with it, then you should tell me and I will try to teach you right-handed. And if you don't understand something or you have questions, just tell me. I'll try to answer them. Okay? <laughs> well, over and out.